Right, I want to tell you about something and it is something that is very, 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 very cool. Now, this honestly is the only new thing to happen in customer service and customer experience for a very long time now and it's got me all excited. But the reason it's got me all excited is because this thing is going to fundamentally reset every single standard of what good customer experience is. Want to know more? Yeah, I thought you would. Let me set the scene. Companies have been using IVRs, self-service, automation, chatbots and other fun stuff like that for quite a while now, really, as a way to not have to talk to customers. Well, you know what companies, customers don't really like talking to you either, so two can play at that game. I want to talk to you about machine customers. Now, a machine customer is basically when a machine takes the place of an actual human customer to get something done. Now, I'm not talking about a robot that can do your shopping for you. I'm talking about AI-enabled digital assistants that do stuff you tell them to do. So, for example, when I ask Siri to set an alarm, hey Siri, set an alarm for 6 a.m. Or when I go, Alexa, turn off studio. They're all examples of digital assistants doing stuff so I don't have to. But what if, okay Google, book me a table at my favorite restaurant for Friday under the name Daniel. Good evening. Hello? Hello. Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Friday the 3rd. Okay, hold on one moment. Mm-hmm. Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. So Friday, November 3rd, how many people? For two people. Two people? Yeah. What time? At 5 p.m. Okay. And your name? The first name is Daniel. That's D-A-N-I-E-L. Okay. You're all set. Okay, great. Thanks. We'll see you next Friday. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, I didn't actually just book a table, but that video is of a real interaction where Daniel is not a person. Daniel is a bot. And these interactions are only gonna get more and more frequent. This is the rise of the machine customer. Now, this is not some sort of future thing. There are more units on Earth capable of being machine customers than there are people. Let that sink in. And there's already examples of machine customers doing stuff for people. You can get Google Assistant to sit on hold for you. Okay, Google, call my phone company and sit on hold. You can ask this one to reorder guitar strings. Alexa, reorder guitar strings. Searching. And even more slick, in the UK and the US and other countries, we've got smart electricity meters. So in the past, the utility company would reach out, they'd ask for a meter reading, you'd go and check your meters, you'd note down your numbers, you'd phone in, you'd tell them the numbers, then they'd figure out your bill, they'd send that out in the mail, and then you'd phone up and you'd pay it. With the smart meters, the usage is always being monitored and reported back in real time. And then the payment is automatically taken every month with no intervention from me. All I have to do is sit in the dark and cry because of how expensive it is right now. Machine customers have caught the attention of Ghana, who've done some studies, and according to them, by 2025, 40% of customers will use machine customers to interact with customer service. And CEOs and CIOs believe that one fifth of revenue is going to come from machine customers. If you ignore this, you're going to get left behind. We have to prepare for the impact. As I said, this is going to fundamentally reset every single standard we have of what good customer experience is. There'll be a new standard for easy, a new standard for fast, a new standard for convenient. And we've spent so much time trying to build empathy and emotions into our experiences. Machine customers aren't going to care in the slightest how empathetic a customer service agent is. So things are going to have to change. The way I see it, there's going to be four types of customer company interaction in the future. So person to person, standard, I call up and speak to an agent. Person to machine, this already happens a lot with self-service and chatbots. Then comes the new ones. Machine to person, that's when my digital assistant calls up a company and speaks with someone to do the thing I've asked it to do. Change my payment date, for example. Or the holy grail, machine to machine 
where it's a completely autonomous, almost instantaneous encounter. Imagine the future. Okay, Google, change my payment date to the second of the month with Vodafone. Alexa, tell my new address to every company I've got an account with. Look, as a company, you're gonna have to take a lot of bot calls to get this stuff done, or put systems in place that allow my machines to play nicely with your machines. Imagine if I could say, Alexa, tell my new address to every company, and in an instant, it's updated on every single system of every single company I've got an account with. But it's not just digital assistance, it'll be the fridge that orders milk when I'm running low, the washing machine that looks in my diary and schedules a repair for something that's gonna go wrong in two weeks, the car that orders new tires and then schedules for them to be fitted at night when you're asleep, so like when you, when you wake up you've got new tires on or something. Don't be scared though, this is gonna allow you to deliver much better experiences for much lower costs. You've basically got three things you need to do. One, prep. Figure out all the likely scenarios that machine customers might interact with you and then rank them in a timeline from most likely to happen the soonest to least likely to happen the soonest. And then on impact on service and cost saving possibilities. Have a machine customer roadmap. Two, figure out who's gonna own this stuff. Is it IT, is it CX, is it CS? Do you need a new machine customer management discipline or even department? Three, double down on the remaining person-to-person -person experiences. Make sure that when we finally get to actually speak to a real person, we give them the care and attention you just can't get from a machine, yet.